Hello there guys and welcome to this video. So today I have some information about changes to heroes, the jungle and some battle spells. Uh, the information comes from the developers themselves. So no need to think about this. this these things are going to happen sooner or later. So let's just jump right into it, shall we? The first part is about heroes. The latest Moscow adjustments will be updated to all servers next week, and we hope that these tweaks will address the situation with Moscow being too dominant among the marksman heroes. We are also really looking forward to your feedback and suggestions regarding these changes. Aside from Muscov, we're also researching adjustments to Tigreal's ultimate mechanics. As it stands, Tigreal's ultimate will instantly take effect if there is an enemy target detected. This gives opponents no time to react, even if they would have a teleport skill or a flicker battle spell, they would not have time to use it. And there's no way to interrupt this skill mid-cast either. Therefore, we may be adjusting the target detection time of this skill and the effect mechanics to give opponents a bit of an opportunity to counter it. As compensation, we may expand the skill's AoE to a more suitable amount. Then we have some changes to the jungle. We are currently adding some new changes to the jungle. We've added two new jungle monsters positioned opposite of Lord and Turtle, and we hope that these monsters will provide some special effects making them a coveted objective for junglers around which a little battle will erupt. Meanwhile, to accommodate these changes, we made some more adjustments to the layout of the jungle. These changes are constantly in production and testing, and we hope to debut them in about three weeks time. So I guess that with the summer patch, like the big summer update, where we get new skins and stuff, we will also get some changes to the jungle changes in appearance and like amount of jungle monsters so that sounds that sounds really really good actually to have a more i don't know to have a more effective jungling experience so that's nice the third part and last is about battle spells we are revising three battle spells fury stun and interference to give them some new characteristics and effects. We are changing the attack power stat buff of Fury to Penetration, giving it a more noticeable impact in the early game, and at the same time we're removing its defensive debuff effect, and as replacement we're limiting the number of times these stats take effect. So wow, Fury is getting Penetration instead of attack power. So you still have the attack speed, but you have penetration. That is going to be freaking crazy, guys. I don't really know if that's... It will give a more noticeable impact in early game, but <laughs> in late game as well, so... Yeah, I... I don't really know if that's a good idea, guys. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. The lowered movement speed and increased skill cost effect of stun does not seem to have a big impact in real battles, so we are removing these two effects. We've increased the duration of the skill's control effect and updated the look for the skill. So stun has new effects I guess, like visual effects, and uh, yeah I you know. Yeah, tell me what you think about this down below, guys. Interference can be a little too overpowered and unable to be countered when used by some particular tricky lineups. So, we've adjusted its effect. It will help you fend off a certain number of basic attacks, including defensive turret attacks. We hope this will make timing a more critical factor when casting this skill, while also leaving some room to counter it. So instead of just disabling the turrets altogether, they've changed it so that you fend off attacks? I, I don't really understand what they mean. Does that mean that only you won't be attacked or that everything will, like, 
have a lesser chance of being hit or like will it still attack you but some of the attacks will not hit you i i don't really understand they could have explained better but yeah we've also put out a new battle spell which will reduce damage received by your hero for a short period of time based on the numbers of surrounding enemies if cast at the right time, the skill will help fighters and tanks absorb a lot of damage or help back, rows hero, back row heroes avoid a killing blow. We look forward to seeing how this skill is received by the players. So, there's a new super tanky battle spell coming. Wow. It will reduce the damage received by heroes for a short period of time based on the numbers of surrounding enemies. That will be insanely overpowered, guys. I don't really know how they're thinking here. I, I guess it won't reduce the damage that much or something. Because that would just be... That would just be insane. Like, the team pushes are going to be freaking crazy. <sighs> okay, guys. So, that's it for the uh, developer updates. And uh, there's no real date when these updates will hit. But, well, I, I guess the Moscow update is sort of, like, it sort of has a date, like, next week. But, yeah, tell me what you guys think about these updates down below in the comments. And, um, yeah, like and subscribe if you like this. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.